be able to get out of home. Just stop me. Ages 55 to 80 who have normal memory, thinking, mood, and behavior patterns, but who may be at risk for developing Alzheimer's disease in the future. If accepted for this study, you'll receive free study-related medical care and be compensated for your travel time and expenses. We're evaluating an investigational drug to see if it might potentially halt or slow the onset of Alzheimer's disease symptoms of memory loss by treating the early changes in the brain. Curious about the risk of getting Alzheimer's? Learn more at NapaBrainStudies.com. That's NapaBrainStudies.com or call 707-252-9606 at 707-252-9606. Visit Shane Company to see the largest selection of natural rubies and natural sapphires in town. Now you have a friend in the jewelry business. Shane Company and ShaneCo.com. KCBS News Time 841. CBS News Special Report. There's breaking news about one of the key figures in this country's battle with the coronavirus, Dr. Anthony Fauci. He says he's stepping down from his posts at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and as chief medical advisor to President Biden, effective this December. CBS News. White House correspondent Stephen Portnoy. In an interview with the New York Times just last month, Dr. Fauci said he certainly stepped down before the end of President Biden's first term. Now he says he'll depart this coming December. But the 81-year-old infectious disease expert insists he's not retiring. Instead, Fauci says he plans to pursue the next phase of his career while he still has so much energy and passion. News of his departure comes as the CDC director publicly respective criticism of her agency's response to COVID. Fauci was the public face of that early federal response. CBS News Special Report. I'm Steve Kathan. And stay with KCBS. We'll get another special report on uh, Anthony Fauci's announcement coming up at the top of the hour. Well, locally, Lafayette may call it off its city council election in November since nobody's decided to run against three council members who terms, whose terms rather are up this year. Those members, Mayor Teresa Geringer, Ty Kwok, all fired their paperwork by the deadline and have qualified for the ballot. The Lafayette City Council will meet on Thursday evening to discuss options, which include simply reappointing the current members to their posts or holding the election anyway to make things official, even though there will be no challengers. KCBS News Time 842 replay review gives the Giants a win. We'll get details on that in sports in two minutes. Are you ready for your palm reading, my dear? Yeah, let's do this. I think that you crave something more reliable. Right. You know you deserve better and want out of a relationship. Yes, with my big name wireless carrier. You're who now? My big name wireless carrier. That's why I switched to Xfinity Mobile. Now I get unlimited with 5G for $30 per month. The most reliable 5G network. Uh, let's talk about your aura. It's so... And get this. They can even save you hundreds a year on your wireless bill over T-Mobile, AT&T, and Verizon. Wow, that's actually really impressive. Yep, but you already knew that, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I definitely saw this coming. Start seeing savings today. Switch to the fastest mobile service, Xfinity Mobile. Now with the best price on two lines of unlimited, just $30 a line per month. Switch today. Xfinity Internet required. Price comparison for two unlimited That's lines under available 5G pricing plans. Top three carriers. Taxes and extra. Yeah. Reduced speeds up to 20 gigabytes of usage per line. Most reliable based on room metrics. Use report. Comcast analysis of mobile Wi-Fi and cellular data from Ookla Speed Test Intelligence Q2 2022. Shouldn't you breathe clean air all day, every day? Help protect yourself with IQ Air's Health Pro Plus Air Purifier, the number one large room air purification choice for viruses. These Swiss made air purifiers were chosen by the Hong Kong Hospital Authority, not only for SARS-CoV-1, but also SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Using patented industry-leading hyper-HEPA filtration, the Health Pro Plus captures particles down to 0.003 microns, the smallest that exists. Now and for a limited time only, use the promo code KCBS5 and save 5% on your autumn or Health Pro Plus air purifier. Visit iqair.com slash US or call 888-409-6202. That's iqair.com slash US or call 888-409-6202. Help protect your loved ones and get the healthy indoor air that you deserve today. Coming up on KCBS, I'm Jeffrey Schaub in Santa Rosa. An ICU nurse is being called a hero after saving a man's life on a soccer match they were both playing in. To see that he was not doing well. KCBS News Time 
News Time 845. We're heading over to the Bay Area Chevy Dealer Sports Desk to check in with Ted Ramey. And Ted, it's possible that Colorado Rockies fans are not feeling so good about replay, replay review in Major League Baseball right now. Yeah, no, it certainly didn't do them any favors yesterday. Looks like their rally was going to be extended in extra innings. They're trying to come back on the Giants, who had taken a one-run lead 9-8 in the top of the 11th. But bottom of the 11th of Colorado, uh, the Giants were trying to escape, but the Rockies were threatening men on second. And uh, we'll have Dave Fleming on the call here. Fly ball, right field. Wade comes in now. They'll make the catch. Hilliard's going to tag. Wade's throw is going to go all the way back. And the Giants think they might have gotten him. The audio courtesy NBC Sports Bay Area. Yeah, this one would go to review. So after it looked like Longoria applied the tag in time, let's see. Oh, man, he looks like he's out after right review, there. The call on the field is overturned. The runner is out. Ball game, the Giants win 9-8. Now, Longo, who applied the tag, had quite a day. Three for four at the play with a home run. Four runs batted in. It did not go unnoticed by manager Gabe Kapler, who said that despite the fact Longo's body hasn't always been cooperative this year, he is still a force. And on a day like today, where he just sort of took the game over and looked like kind of the best all-around player on the field, you, you recognize how much he has left in the tank. It's a lot. Like he's, he's still an, an excellent um, Athlete capable of changing the game with his, his glove and, and his bat and his presence. And um, we saw that on display today. Unfortunately, after the win for the Giants, they are six games back in the wild card standings for the final spot. Giants are off today and in Detroit on Tuesday. And Adam Schefter has just tweeted out that the 49ers are signing veteran safety Tayshawn Gibson. At the Sports Desk, Ted Ramey, KCBS. Thank you, Ted. KCBS Sports Desk is sponsored by the Bay Area Shepherds. Visit BayAreaChevroletDealers.com. T-Mobile believes customers deserve to get more without paying more. Everything from entertainment benefits like Netflix on Us to travel benefits to scam shield protection, all with taxes and fees included. So the price you see is the price you pay. When you're a T-Mobile customer, you get over $225 in value every month in benefits with our Max Family Plan. That's like paying for no sleep seats and getting to sit in the front row. That's right. At T-Mobile, your family gets over $225 worth of value and benefits with our max plan each and every month. Plus, with our price lock guarantee, we won't raise your rate plan for our talk, text, and data ever. That's like paying for a cap. And getting a stretch limo. At T-Mobile, you get value beyond the expected. Qualifying service required. Value based on included monthly benefits. Sales tax and regulatory fees included in max's monthly price. Price lock guarantees rate price of talk. Service exclusion supply. See details at T-Mobile.com. Chances are you're jamming in your car right now. And since Liberty Mutual customizes car insurance, so you only pay for what you need, Mimu and I are going to show you some safe car dance moves. Hit it. Everybody, check your blind spots real quick. Now hands on the wheel. Put them 10 in two and move your head like a bird do. Only pay for what you need at LibertyMutual.com. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Did you get the Clement Horizon clean last night? I don't want another barge incident. Where's Ivan? Kiki's head of docking operations just jumped ship. What do you mean he's sailing around the world? She needs a new marina manager to help keep her head above water. Yeah, the tide's perfect, but we are slammed. Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Save on your sandwich staples at Whole Foods Market. Take 20% off Days Organic Killer Bread through August 23rd while supplies last. Plus, Prime members save an extra 10%. Shop in-store or online at Amazon.com slash Whole Foods. Terms apply. KCBS traffic and weather time. Any forecast coming up, but let's check those roads first with Kim Wonderly. Well, we've had major problems with the Altamont Pass. All lanes had been blocked until just recently. Lady near North Flynn. This is about a mile before the top of the hill at North Flynn. They've managed to open the two left lanes. The two right lanes, excuse me, the two left lanes are still blocked. It's the two right lanes that have been reopened. But this is an injury crash. And with that there, for as long as it's been there, traffic is backed up 
solid into Tracy. This is about a nine mile backup. I mean, the estimated time of driving through this backup right now is about an hour. So, Patterson Pass looks a whole lot better if you can make your way to the south side of 580 or the Old Altamont Pass. Uh, Grant Line's really congested trying to access Old Altamont Pass, though, but uh, the freeway itself is still uh, kind of a misery right now. Let's look at Highway 4. We've had a problem in Pittsburgh, westbound Highway 4, before Loveridge, a crash here in the right lanes. It's a big rig and a garbage truck. We see slow traffic now behind it as you try to make your way into Pittsburgh from Somersville. That's stop and go. We are looking at Silicon Valley traffic, too. Heard from Maria of the Force with a crash on 280 into Cupertino, North 280, right before Highway 85. The left lane is blocked here. And then North 101 at the 280 split in San Jose, a crash in the clearing stages. Traffic is slow, though, coming up from Blossom Hill. Really tough through the Silicon Valley this morning. Your next update, 858 on the traffic leader, KCBS. Mancini Sleep World six-day forecast now with Jessica Birch joining us from the KPIX 5 Weather Center. Hey, good morning. Monday, and we are kicking off the work week with the hottest temperatures of the whole week's forecast. But let's talk about these numbers. It's nothing too crazy, and it's nothing too out of the norm. But we will feel a lot cooler as we had an end of this week. So San Francisco is getting up to 75 this afternoon, 67 just by Wednesday, 82 in Oakland this afternoon, 71 by Wednesday. And we're even seeing that exact same trend off in our inland to East Bay, where today we're getting up to 97, to even 98 up in the North Bay. But just by Wednesday, we're getting right back down to those mid 80s. So a significant cooling trend off in those microclimates over there. The coast might even see a little bit of rain and drizzle on Wednesday, where daytime highs this afternoon are up in the upper 60s. We'll get right back down to the lower 60s as early as tomorrow. It's looking pretty nice as we kick off this work week and wrap it up. We'll keep you updated here in the Weather Center, but for now, I'm meteorologist Jessica Birch with your KCBS KPX 5 for Slur Forecast. We've got traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. KCBS News Time 852, Fernie Beyer and Vivian Bosu Skinner are at the KCBS Editor's Desk. A Santa Rosa Intensive Care nurse and two other nurses are being called heroes and back to life during a soccer match all four were playing in. KCBS's Jeffrey Shaw reports Meredith Freed says she simply was doing what she's done countless times before. It was the beginning of halftime during a co-ed soccer match. Meredith Freed sees players on the opposing team calling out for help. Just kind of immediately. I 